I am a professional FIFA coach, which means I should be pretty good at FIFA, right? Well, we're going to go unbeaten in foot champions to prove how good we are. And if we fail, we will give one of you a free FIFA 23 coaching session. During this foot champs challenge, you are going to learn three key things on what makes a good FIFA player. Number one, the skills that you need to use to go unbeaten. Number two, our custom tactics. And number three, the biggest thing that you are doing wrong that you can fix within one game of FIFA. Before we jump into champs though, we must go ahead and build our team. In goal, we're gonna have probably the worst goalkeeper I've used so far, Inform Chesney. The centre-back pairing is going to be the almighty Skriniar. The man is lengthy, he is unreal defensively, and he is by far one of the best centre-backs on a cheap budget. Kim is going to sit alongside him. He does the job. He's nothing spectacular. Fullback, though, we're going to have another lengthy man in Reese James. We're going to have an anchor to make him do that. And at left back, we do see Spinozola. Vanessa is one of our CMs, and he is an unreal card. His outside of the boot shots are absolutely incredible. He's so nimble on the ball. He is much better than Tenali or Barella. I'd really highly recommend you pick him up. Zakaria will partner in that midfield. He will be a little bit more defensive, and he will be so crucial to helping us go unbeaten. We do put Raheem Sterling in at right mid. He's going to play with no chemistry, which means we just need him to run and be able to cross the ball. And at left mid, we do see Son. He does have an engine chemistry style to make him feel a little bit more nimble, but he will move to the striker position in game. And then welcome to one of the most expensive SBCs we've completed so far on FIFA 23, Kuliskevsky, however you say his name. He's a little bit expensive and probably not that great. And then to wrap the team up, the best budget striker I have used on FIFA 23, Sharudov, if I've said that right. We do put an architect on him to make him lengthy. So the total cost of this squad is 548,650 coins. We're going to play the 4 triple 2 And the tactics are on screen. Direct passing has been one of my personal favorites so far, which we've been using in a lot of our tactics. The instructions, we do also have the strikers on stay forward, get in behind, stay central. Left attacking mid and right attacking mid on comeback on defense. Zakaria, stay back, cover center. Vanessa on cover center. And then the fullbacks on stay back while attacking and overlap. So it is time. Can we go unbeaten in foot champions? We're going to load in on Friday morning at 10 a.m. when all the sweats are out. Game number one sees Haaland and Benzema, which is enough for me to know that this challenge is going to be very tough, especially when the opponent slips in Haaland to take that 1-0 lead. Could we really fail the challenge in game number one? Well, top-level FIFA players find multiple ways to score. We do exactly that. Kuliskevsky does that by shooting from range, showing that you don't always need to work it inside the 18-yard box to find a chance. Then, to showcase how to use triangles in FIFA, see how we trigger the run here with Kuliskevsky? He makes that play. We play the ball back to the fullback, then into the center mid, the ball in behind with L1 and R1, triangle over the top. That is perfect FIFA. However, it is not all done yet. We need to find Son. We do exactly that. Look for the green time finesse. Unbelievable finish. Game number one and win number one on the board. Professional FIFA players across the world have all been using this OP method that you have to master. That is the Travella pass and shot. Kudu plays a perfect ball into Shomorudov, who makes no mistake of putting it away. Sending Akanji to the floor and contemplating what went wrong. And we did say that there are certain skills that you have to master to go unbeaten in foot champs, and step overs are one of them. We do exactly that with Banassa. He gets that speed boost away from the defender, putting us 2-0 to the good. And then, if you really want to be a top-level FIFA player, there's a time and a place where you have to rat it out. The opponent pulled back two goals. We had a 3-2 lead and we saw it out professionally. We sang our praises about Banassa with that outside of the foot shot, the Travella shot. All you need to do is hold L2, LT and you can execute that. And then, well, the story goes the same again with Banassa and Reese James makes a surprise name on the score sheet from a deep cross. Three games down, three wins. The next opponent, though, is going to prove to be a little bit tougher. Substitution time, and we must keep this challenge going. Don't shout at me in the comment section below, but we did bring on our loan Henri. Taking advice from myself here, and we don't mess around for much longer. 
Rafael Leal gets in. We don't complicate anything. We just get that shot off and it's going to win us the game. A quick rage quit in our next game to take us to 5-0. But something just wasn't quite right with our playstyle. I felt slow in the attack. The players weren't moving quick enough or fast enough to penetrate that defensive line. Something had to change. So we headed over to the tactics board and we changed our build-up play to long ball with the hope that this puts us in a stronger position to go unbeaten. We also decided that Spinozola just wasn't quite good enough. Our Twitch trap recommended go ahead and get Gozens. So we brought in the road to the knockout left back card and put an anchor chemistry style on him. Game number six now and Raheem Sterling shows you why that Travella shot is so OP on FIFA 23. And once again, the step overs proving to be a nuisance for defenders to deal with. So are you beginning to learn a thing or two about FIFA and how you need to play the game? But loading into the next game, this is the best team that we have seen so far. First chance goes begging with Son. I wasn't paying attention to the goalkeeper's position. And by the time I realized he was so far out, we had to go for the chip and we hit the woodwork. Poor defending from me means the opponent breaks in behind with Mbappe and he draws first blood. We go ahead and we miss another chance and the opponent is going to capitalize on this. Mbappe doing what Mbappe does best. He runs straight into me. Then he just tackles and takes away the ball straight away and puts him 2-0 to the good. Then this right here is exactly how not to defend on FIFA 23. We are done by a simple 1-2 and Valverde slots that one past the goalkeeper. If I was coaching you and you did that, I would be livid with that defending. We tried over and over and over again to get back into the game, but the challenge was too difficult for us. The professional FIFA coach lasted six games of going unbeaten in foot champs. But hey, as we failed our challenge, that means that one of you will win a coaching session. All you need to do is comment down below who is your favorite card on FIFA 23 and why. Then we will pick someone at random. But we did play a few more games, however. We also bought in the Danjuma SBC, who is absolutely goated. And we took ourselves to 9-1 on the first day of foot champions. Myself and you learn a few things. Number one is that step over and Travella shots are absolutely crucial to being a good FIFA player. Number two, we saw how the 4 triple 2 can work and play so well and the tweak with long ball giving us some better options going forward. And most of all, you know the biggest fix you can make in your game is to not get done by simple one twos, which we can all get frustrated by. Speaking of frustration, if you want to know how to beat the five at the back formation on FIFA 23, click this video here to know exactly how to do that.